Hey guys, are you having a glow party or maybe you're having a black light dance and you're looking for a light that's going to light up the room, make people glow, make their t-shirts pop out, you know, with the UV light and all that. I'm going to be checking out this light right here, which you're going to want to take a look at. This is the American DJ UV Cobb Cannon LED light and we're checking it out right now. So today we're going to be taking a look at the UV American DJ Cobb Cannon light. Uh, a couple of neat things about it. First off, it comes in a metal casing. So it is not like a cheap plastic casing that you're going to find some of the other lights have. Now that metal casing probably adds some weight to it. Uh, the light itself is weighing in at 14 pounds. But at 14 pounds, it still isn't bad. If you were to pick this up compared to a plastic up light, uh, maybe a mega par that's made by American DJ, this is definitely going to be a lot heavier, but you can tell that it's built to last. So one of the nice things about this black light is it's not just a solid black light, it's got a chip on board, thus the name Cobb, C-O-B, and that also allows you to take just the static UV light and do strobing with it. You can put this light into sound mode. You can also hook it up to DMX and control it with a DMX controller. So the light itself on the back has some rubber feet, four rubber feet that are going to allow it to sit on the, whatever surface you place it on and still have a little room under the light so that it can breathe. It does look like there's some vent holes here for either some sort of fan or something that's behind it. In addition to just having it sit up and maybe using it as an up light to color wash a wall or something, you have two brackets here. You have your yoke which can be split open and allow you then to position the light and angle it however you'd like. You can tighten it up here using the bolts on the sides and that allows you to place the light on a table or a cabinet or maybe like a subwoofer for your setup. Closing the two yoke brackets together allows you to put some sort of a clamp, in this instance an O clamp, into the light to hang the light using that clamp. So I'm looking at the ports, we're going to start on this side. The ports for the power and DMX are on the side, so you still have access to these even if the light is sitting face down on the ground and pointing up. Uh, your power here is not an IEC power in, but it is a PowerCon port, and you'll have to insert the PowerCon cord and then twist it to lock it into place. That allows it to not slip out accidentally, unlike some IEC cords. To remove the power con, you're just going to pull back on the silver clip, and that allows you to twist and pull it out. On this side, you have a DMX. These are three pin DMX, a DMX out, and a power con power out. So you can daisy chain these UV lights if you had multiples. Um, you can just run one power to the first one and then run a power con over to your next UV light power con in, and that's gonna power all from one single outlet. You can also send DMX from this light to your next light. You can put these lights into master slave mode. If you put the other UV lights you'd be plugging in, say you make this one the master and the other lights slaves, they're gonna copy whatever programming you do to this first light. When you turn the power con clip on, that's gonna power up the light. We're going to go through some of the different modes. So you can manually dim this light down all the way from a value of 255 down to zero. And that is going to dim the UV value down zero. There is no more light left. If I hit it one more time going down, I'm back at 255. And that is as bright as this light's going to get. The other thing that's kind of nice is I can go to... Uh, another setting here that's going to allow me to put it into this mode that has the 17. This turns the light into sound active mode. And that's going to allow the light to respond to the beats uh, of any music that you might be playing. So you probably want to see what the UV light looks like with the house lights off. So let's show you some examples of it powered up.
So we use these lights at a recent black light dance that we DJ'd and we've got some footage here just showing you how the lights light up a large space like a school gym. So these lights are great for using while maybe DJing a party. The ability to put them in sound active mode or even strobe mode is really cool for doing those types of effects. Using the strobe mode, you could even use this for Halloween parties or if you've got a haunted house, things like that. Um, this is going to create those UV effects for you, that fluorescent light that you're looking for. You can also set it up where it's just static on so that it's UV color washing whatever surface you want may be some pieces of fabric that you have draped over certain objects or certain backdrops. Lots of different options and the fact that these lights have so much power to them uh, gives you a lot of different options for uses for them. Hey, so I hope you found this video helpful. I hope it told you a little bit more about the light. I'd be interested to know your comments, so please leave them down below. I will also link to all of the light information down in the description below so you can go check it out as well. My name is Jeff. Thanks so much for checking out this video. This is Tinker Ford. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. We do DJ equipment reviews as well as different products. And if you hit that little notification bell, you'll get notified as we release new videos. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it and we'll see you soon.